And now for something completely different. That made me the big happy. We've got a rocket to launch if we're going to stop the moon's end landings. Yes, indeed. A rocket. The space kind, not the leaf. And then other times, dumbass. <laughs> Basically, me playing Widowmaker. First order of business. Accompany my drone, Rover, Rover. to the control tower. Uh, the tall one at the back, with the clock face. Rover's my eyes and ears down there. But do look after him. Chop, chop! I thought you said, of course the soldier farted. <laughs> Did he now? Eat. I wonder what his turn me upside down and pepper a chicken. Those dastardly zeds are already here and causing a ruckus. And I might add, they do not tidy up after themselves. You are killed by an old man Ma. with an old, with an old gun. gun. I love Reverend Alberts in this game. Why can't I hit you? Just give me the, give me an opportunity. Your freaking head coming off. Yes, I couldn't agree more. I went so Irish. You were killed by an old man with an old gun. <laughs> and still they come! Oh, incorrigible! We've got demons coming to play! I think it's to kind of give the owl sort of thing. Because owls constantly like move their heads and stuff. As if that wasn't common knowledge. You know, owls move their heads. It's the spot. The gun. The one the worst. More Zeds on the way. I gotcha. We ought to be able to open the shield canopy simply by... Oh, what rotten luck! I gotcha. Uh, well, uh, fret not. If we manually reboot a few consoles, we can open the hatches that way. And in case you didn't know, I really mean you. <laughs> Today's fun <laughs> fact: Give a little owls a move face. their heads. <laughs> Do you think Reaper is pretty? <laughs> Oh, okay. Damn. No, he doesn't. No, he, he really doesn't. I will only allow it if we get to call him basic white bitch. We have a deal. You are 
This game's for children. Dude, the story alone could be a freaking horror movie, especially the Omnic. Oh, the Om the Omnic Crisis is a horror movie. It's called The Terminator. Um. The Homnic? Did I, yeah, the, the hard, the hard H, the Homnic Crisis. Um. <laughs> that makes me feel like John Wayne. Makes me feel like John Wayne. I heard something about getting murdered. Oh, inverted, not murdered. Wow. Just the ticket. It's half open. <laughs> Hacks McCree. How the hell do I roll? You see it? I Look still think. Oh. I was gonna say. Um. I think I still believe it by canon that the how. She manages to hack um, McCree and S I know they're there somewhere. How to hack McCree out of his combat role is that he legit, she legit just like does like a ghost pitch to to his like butt or something, and he's just like, what the hell, and is confused for exactly six seconds. He just pinches him in the butt, and he's just like, "Who? What the hell?" She is a butt pincher. I know she boops, but she's totally a butt pincher. It's not the best idea, but it'll work. Ha ha, funny. This joke is a classic. Which side does a tiger have the most stripes? Well, on the outside. Ha ha. Ah ha ha. Watch the vents. You're a fucking classic. That's it. That'll be the last one. Simple perfection. At least you're not a millennial. But, uh... How... Oh. Uh. And that's the lot. Does it? That's weird. He's not. He is literally on the nut end of a boomer. So I can actually tell my dad, okay, boomer, and it actually makes sense. Shop's closed, man. Oh, dear. But yeah, he, he's, lives he was born the, years are simply the December missing. of 63. The so he's... Oh well, quick He's a boomer. Bound to be plenty of spares lying around in here. Yes. Bring them back and My mom is a Gen Xer. She's an early Gen Xer because she was born in seventy Hooray! something. Bring it to the control console, would you? There's a good Seventy one, I think? No, that can't be right. No, that can't be right. That'll keep me going. I honestly have no fucking idea. There we are. Uh, There's one. The one for sorrow, I suppose. I thought millennials were like farther into the 90s. 
I mean, yes, by average age, most millennials are hitting their 30s. But... But, um... I should definitely... Nice! Decade? Oh, 20 years. Yoo-hoo! We do rather need those gears! Well done! Bring that back! Okay. So a decade and a half would be a generation. In a perfect world. Mm. Yeah, I I can agree with that to a point. That's that's why like I don't typically go off like the factual big ass math chart that um most of the generation things go off of. Normally, I just sort of lump it by decade or age. Like if you're a, if you're a certain age, you probably are this generation in my mind like my dad's almost 60 so i'm like okay he's he's a boomer because mathematically speaking he would have been at the time of the boomers averagely um my mom is a gen xer because technically people in gen x would have been like high school age during the 80s and that was 30 that, no, that was more than 30 now, because we're in 2020, so that'd be... Yeah, that's like close to like 40-ish years ago, if I have my math correctly. Which, math is not my strong suit, so please bear with me. Um, that's why I'm an English major. Where did you all go? Siren! Fuck your blood. No time for a bevy. Get to the park. I don't agree with that. It's the spot. I think it's. I, I think honestly, it should be like an age sort of thing. Cause I mean, cause you know, I am the end all, be all. I am pe freaking humanity. My dumbass on the internet. Um, Rocket into space, shall we? You stay there and operate those controls and keep the Zeds out. Don't really. Gen X starts in '65. I wouldn't have. There. I would have. It's your well, now. I don't want no. It. Watch out, Zeds. Well, 1981. Okay, so if they were 10, That's a good they would they would have been 1991 when they were 10, right? Because 81 plus 10 is 91. That makes sense if they were. There aren't enough of you near um, maybe not. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Beast is about to be not caught. Get in, get in. Wages of sin. Get in now. Yeah. I can see it. Yeah. Technically, my brother 
I'm pretty sure my brother is a millennial. Uh, yeah. There's a cloaked monster nearby. No, better her than one of you. We need you at those controls. Yes. Yes, yeah, so that, that would have been like my grandfather. Where is everyone? Get back to the controls. There we are. That's good progress. Back. Well, according to me, fuck the graph. Well, because it's such a variable thing, mostly because it's defined. It, it, to me, how people define generations is like common core. It could be really simple, but instead, they have to do this ass-backwards bullshit that makes fuck all sense. Humanity is not done yet. Although personally, I could do with yeah. I, at least you're using science to some degree, whereas I'm just like you, like I'm firing from the hip, like I normally do. Um, that's why I make the joke. Yeah, me, freaking peak humanity, you know, voice of the world. Um. Like, normally, I'm just like, your age is this, so you're probably this. On how they act. And Get yourself back to where I dropped you off and bring Rover all the rockets going nowhere. He's got all the science stuff we need to aim the rocket in his computer. Well, the 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 the, the term stuff. that's I guess a slur nowadays, um and see that you're going well, down. Hold on. Um, so they tried the, the, the superpower of the boomers is that they're all like Harrison Ford. They don't give a shit. Um. So when the millennials. Not at all. Uh, it, it picked up heat because basically what happened was. One person said it, and um, everybody caught on because they couldn't come up with their own roast. So it became sort of like a war cry for the millennials. Um, but this is rather impressive. Taking down all no millennials came up with it because the thing here here's. A statistic fact, based on surveys just done about age, popularity, and whatever. Um, the millennial generation 
is the only generation that is hated not only by the people above them but the people beneath them gen z fucking hates millennials and i will say millennials are pretty <sighs> let me put it to you this way by my definition in my battlefront um because that's basically just the most per if we're gonna go by oh, Lancaster data, um, carry I'll bring it's, the it's, the it's the same thing. It's the same thing. The same voice. Yeah. yeah, it's that. Um, but you know, it's the spot. The chick, the waitress who came in uh, testing positive and messed up your mom. That's a millennial. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh 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 jeez, yeah. She's in her thirties. It's coming. Keep yourself. Uh she might no time for a dirt nap. She could possibly be late. Oh fuck, what is it? Yeah, it might be one of those things where, like, she's hanging on a pube of, uh, Gen Xness. Her personality is kind of more Gen X-y to me. The old man still has it. How old was he when he passed, if you know? How old is she? <laughs> okay, so approaching 80, she would be in the 30s, right? Because, no, she could be actually in the 40s. Born in the 40s, because my grandfather is almost 80. My living grandfather is almost 80, and he was born in the 40s. I don't know what time frame in the 40s, but he was born in the 40s. So that would that might make him Found a weapon. the um the sort of hungus bungus oh, generation. Steve. I don't remember Such that. I think technology. I know they're called the Silent Generation, but I think they're gear. also known as the uh, Greatest Generation because. Fucking World War Two, <laughs> which, if if that that if that's your trump card, I'll let you have that one, sir. Oh. Uh, There's another. Beast is about, but clawed. Eighty-two. Okay, so he would have been probably in the forties. Shit. Hotter than the fires of hell in here. Second one! <laughs> We're coming along nicely. Just one more will do it. You are held by an old man with an old gun. Let me endeavor to frame it this way. 
No, no, um, I, I, I think, I think I do the same thing based on how you're trying to describe it. I think I do the same thing where, like, early would be, like, 41, 42, 43 versus late 40s, which would be, like, 47, 48, 49. I level up my gunslinger, baby. I'm a, I am a, I'm a Irish priest. That's that kicks ass for the Lord. Reverend Edelberts. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. I like the cut of your jib, lad, and your jam ain't bad either. A real survivor. Are you going to be okay? <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've... Gunslinger. Line them up. Suffer no damage reduction for... I don't care. No, not the pretentious one. We need that boiler to boil us some steam Hello, to unclean one. Rocket. You're looking I certainly dirty that. today. But you'll need to what off did you say to me, little brat? Steam has its charm, but it has a oh, the apple. unclean one touched me. I'll show you unclean, you little shit. <laughs> That's cool. That could be part. That could be something. That could that could be the way. It's really getting steamy in here. Ooh. Oh, that's where they're coming from. I was gonna say, like, 30 seconds went by and there were no zombies. I was like somebody's slacking. Just like basic training. Just like basic training. That'll keep me going. Later keep you. That'll keep you going. Let me just wipe off my knife here. Demons, rock and roll, folks. <laughs> oh, here they come. Get them back! See that? You're gonna make these people rage quit like when you played Boba. Roadhog is rage inducing nice. if you have a really good one. It's hotter than the fire's hell in here. That's what I call a rolling boy. Well, no, because they commit. Because Blizzard committed Order 66 on all their freaking heroes and nerfed them into. Funky Town. Tolerable. Yes, that's the kind of spirit I like to see. Such and Why would a sniper have fall off? Well, Explain that one to me, Chief. Precisely what you should be thinking. It doesn't do it alone. We need hydroelectricity. Yeah, the one person that doesn't need to be dealt with at all is the one that all of a sudden goes Terminator. Now, granted, I'm not complaining. I will use those to my advantage. By all means, do not think that I'm not above that. 
However, was it really necessary? Ah, oh, rocket science isn't all fuel and explosions. It also needs a lot of good old-fashioned electricity. Edison juice, Tesla stuff. We need to get the wheel spinning on the main turbine if we want yeah. the power uh, to get off the pad. Chop, chop, lads! The, man, even Blizzard's disrespecting the healers. Here's the first one to repair. That'll get the water wheel working. What was that? I heard slapping noises, and I'm not happy about it. Ah, this stuff's more my speed. Hello there! Whoa, okay, that was actually epic and terrifying. <laughs> Son, what are you doing? Therapy. <laughs> nice. Get those bang sticks ready. Sends inbound. He won't be back. How is that more calming? Wait a minute. Did that sting? Ow! I'd still watch it. Why would you do that to yourself? Open you up! Dear God. I'm still gonna get you. Man, this reload thing just makes me feel very happy. Now we need Cause to now I'm not an electrical a dick. And I can actually like reload weapons really nicely. I mean, Epic is kind of like the Amish of game whatever. In the sense of they're like really primitive. Weld the little rascal. That'll keep me going. Yeah, that would be cool. As far as I'm concerned, with Steam's innovation as being a game service, they have a monopoly. They don't need any more money. Good. Now, fix the console that sends the charging prod into the rocket. Spooky games that I could actually do for the channel and watch them turn into a bitch ass bitch. What? Even so, watching something is always going to be different than. Uh, playing it. I remember. It'd be cool if, um, that sonar thing was like alien where it would like actually give you anxiety by using it that sounds like I'm torture it sounds like I'm torturing you but Just like 
basic training. That's fair. I will say, the, the, like from Alien, if they did the sonar stuff more like that, I would love it because that would just be just pure anxiety. Uh, I'm unsure how to describe it, but basically... I guess, I think I it's actually because of the noise. Because it's a constant noise that's going on. No, no, it's it's a map with like a dot. And it pulses every so often. We need to activate the hydrogen fuel cells on board. And it's constantly going like a, it's, it makes like a clicking sound. Which is aggravating enough anyway. But then like you'll just see like a blip moving closer and closer. But the thing about it is, it doesn't have like any, it has a distance, but it doesn't have depth. So you can't tell if it's above you or below you or anything. You just know that it's getting closer. Cause like in one of the, in I think Aliens, the second one. It's like an actual fucking sonar. It's the way a sonar thing actually does work. Makes sense. <laughs> the old man still has it. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, one of the awesome scenes in Aliens is, like, the marine troop or whatever are, like, held up in this one room, and they... They're... They have the sonar thing going, and they're looking at it, and it's, like, getting closer and closer and closer, and then eventually, the g one guy looks at it, and it's like, what the fuck? This means that, like, they're in the room. That doesn't make any sense. And then he looks up, he opens up, like, a vent in the ceiling, and they're all just waiting for him. And you want to know something even worse? So they start fighting the aliens, and they're coming out of the ceiling and stuff. They're also in the floor. So, like, floor tiles are, like, popping up, and they're just, like... There. It's awesome and terrifying. Yeah, so if the sonar was more like that, where you had absolutely no depth of, like, where they could possibly be, besides distance. Just like basic training. Hey. Gotcha, beastie. Just like now, that. release the docking clap. My gumbo, you've done it. Did that sting? I don't know if I like that. Because like you said, it it, it it removes the element of surprise and fear for me. And... Eh.
No, it makes sense. It's not credited as a horror game, even though it has horror elements. Moving lads, the pot's open and time is running out. Oh, get moving, mate. This is no time to stop and smell the corpses. Oh, that's a funny. Oh, baby, you okay? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man. I'm nearly 30. And I still find myself saying from time to time. I just. I don't like it. Looks like we've got a bit of extra cargo. What the fuck are you? I don't know what that is. That has to be a new mob, because I've not seen you before. Where are you? See that? Look at look at this waddling man! Mob? Well, because normally I don't say it. I don't say it in terms of like spawner mob I say it like normally when I hear mob I think of like mafia as in like it's it's a very tech sort of whim wham on the flim flam kind of fucking language whereas I'm just like no mob is like the fucking good fella Ace Viscan. Really really Can I hee hee over you? Yes. Where they tell me no one can hear ice cream. Hmm. Oh, all right. Was oh, not ready for that. If onboard computer starts singing Daisy, Daisy, abandoned ship. Well, tally. Wait, why did our trap power down here? 